Hey guys, it's Alex from Bullet Sponge, and <laughs> it is a bit of infinite undiscovery achievement called Guardian. Here is a group of refugees which you need to escort back to their home village. Um, eh, it's all I can say. It's not up. that it's that hard. It's not that complicated. It's just long-winded and annoying. It is the first instance in the game where you have to deal with the special condition of having a red bar at the top, which decreases if someone dies or you lose something, and if it if you if it runs out, it's over. It's pretty typical stuff. But why did they feel that this bit was necessary in the game for an achievement of all things? <laughs> it's just not funny. It's just not fun in that matter. Um. What you need to do, basically, you've got to cover a vast distance. Um, not that big once you know the route, but on the first attempt, you're like, "Ooh, lord, that's that's going to take me at least half an hour." It takes about ten minutes, uh, eight minutes if I remember correctly from the length of this video. Um, but the best strategy for this, I can say, is save it once. Let, play it through, don't go for the achievement, just let, just take it through, just take it easy, let them die if needs be, learn the route they take. Then the second time, play through, take the same route, and kill everything in that route before they even get there. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, it's also one of the most frustrating ways, because if you miss a single thing, and you're miles off ahead of them, all you hear is a little, HELP! HELP! And then, all you know, there's an old man dead on the ground, and you're thinking, Grrrr! Let's start again, let's start the process again, yada yada yada. So, be sure to learn the route, learn where the enemies are, make quick work of it, then run back, escort, and mop up what you missed. Uh, it's... The main threat that you have in this is not any of these things, not the fishes, um, not the fish under the sand, not the flying things, they're fairly easy. I mean, I came into this when I was like level 18, and that, that wasn't me even trying to level up. I mean, this game is superb for the whole leveling system. Ev if you kill something, everyone else in your, in everybody else in your party, not just the ones on screen, but off screen, they level up as well. So everybody is the same level, you don't have that problem of Ooh, I, I like this these, this party, I like these guys, but I want to try something different. Oh wait, I can't because he's 10 levels lower and he's got about the 5 strength of a weasel. So you can't use him, and you're thinking, oh, large enemies, he's not going to last a second. Problem solved, they all level up. So you're thinking, yes. So it's just a case of personal preference. If you want to have, I mean, the team I normally stick with is... Well, obviously Capel, because he's the main character, and Aya. I always have Aya because she has that Ravaging Raptor. Basically, you get you uh, go into a third person, over the shoulder view, get to shoot at whatever you want. I always keep her just in case of things like that. The other person I always keep, just because when I'm walking around, there's always environmental things that I can interact with. Um, Balbagon, because he can smash large rocks, which reveal secret areas and quite interesting treasures sometimes. And the last guy I tend to keep Eugene, because he is a superb healer. And quite good with the magic, if you know what I mean. So, that is my team. But, I'm at, no, I can't say that, because that was in the story. But yeah, um, I'm just going to keep rambling for like the next five minutes, four minutes, basically. Because I've described what this is, and there's not really much else I can say about it, really, until about a minute and a half. Um, there's a specific thing that I can uh, I need to talk about. Uh, it's related to this achievement, so don't think it's just me going, yeah, yeah, political views. Let's talk about that. Nah, it's nothing like that. This next part, this these first two uh, sections of the map, they're easy. They are easy. This next part is not. <laughs> if you uh, you need to run in these guys here, the magic casters. They will tear your guys down within seconds. Make sure you hunt them down relentlessly. Rush in here and destroy everything. This is where I lost it so many times. So, get, just spend a while just destroying everything here, but make sure you target those magic guys first. 
well obviously I'm not doing the first right here, but you, you get my gist. Uh, the fish, they're fine. The cactus, they're just annoying because you can't actually touch them, otherwise you get hurt, so it takes a couple of uh, combos. So what you need to do, run over here. Now, straight ahead of me, I just turned away from it, there is a little dip in the ground, a uh, little quarry if you want, and in there, there's a snake and a magic guy, and possibly something else. Make sure to go over there, because if you don't realize they're there, the magic guy will tear them down really fast without you knowing, and you'll be thinking, what the hell? What, what, why am I doing this again? Oh, right, yeah, because I messed up because the game was a bit cheap. So, yep, there they are. Make sure to kill that magic guy. <laughs> so, that's me sorted now. I, I'm pretty much in the clear. I'm just thinking, yes, yes, could this be the one? Am I finally gonna do this? I'm thinking, yes, yes I am. So it's all good. So, just killing off this cobra, running back up. Now, yeah, we did do it. This is where I started to panic. <laughs> it, it was a case of, if that cactus actually killed a guy, I would have thrown my controller into the screen in frustration. But... Thankfully, they're a bit resilient. Now, this is it, right? Uh, you kill everything here, you're thinking, if you look at the map, there's much, much, much more of the map that you need to cover to get to where they are. But thankfully, and thank you Square Enix for this, you just need to get past this little entrance here. This is like the final enemy, make sure he's dead. Then as you progress, that's it. It goes into a cutscene and you have got it. <laughs> So, this is just the end of it, I'm just trying to think of things to say right now to wrap it up, can't really think of things. So yeah, the guy, they're pretty much all safe, maybe it cuts bruises, a bit of maiming, nothing major, but there you go, situation bonus, you get quite a nice bit of uh, bonus XP. Now once you get rid of the situation bonus, press A, there is your 30G Guardian. I hope this has been slightly informative of how to get this achievement, otherwise thanks for putting up with my rambling, and happy achievement hunting guys!